It is 1.26 in the afternoon on June the 2nd and we are in the Cravel Demonstration Greenhouse in Culiacan. We can see that the outdoor temperature is approaching 40, 40 degrees. It's 39.5 right now. Inside air temperature is 37. So we are 2 degrees cooler than outside and we have 63% relative humidity. So considering that it is June the 2nd in Culiacan there is no peppers, no cucumbers, no tomatoes being harvested anymore in the conventional greenhouses and net houses. And here we are in the retractable roof with insect net. And the first thing we can see is there's sufficient air movement going on underneath the roof that the plants are actually moving. So that means we're getting a good air exchange through the net and we should not have any CO2 deficiencies. So looking at the cucumbers here we can see that there is no signs of powdery mildew. There were some problems with leaf miner but we can see on the new leaves that this has now been brought under control. So it is quite amazing to have cucumbers being grown in this kind of heat without any form of evaporative cooling all of the cooling and humidity is coming from the plants themselves So this cucumber crop was transplanted on March the 14th and here we are on June the 2nd and what's quite interesting is if we go over here we can see a cucumber crop that was planted several weeks ago. And there is no sign of any powdery mildew or insect damage because we are managing the environment using both the net and the retractable roof over the net. When we check the leaf temperature right now, we can see that it's 33 degrees, which is cooler than the air, which means these plants are transpiring to help them stay cool. So they're not showing any negative effects from the high temperature levels. Now looking at the peppers, we have several different varieties here. So this was transplanted October the 11th. And the same with So looking at these peppers we can see that the leaves are still looking extremely healthy and happy. No major curling going on. 
fruit is still looking like it is February. And what's interesting is we had these peppers tested by an independent Mexican testing agency and the shelf life of these peppers was proven to be 50% longer than that grown in a net house. And what's very impressive is that these plants are still flowering. So even though we're having these extreme temperatures, we are able to manipulate the climate better than a net house or better than a conventional greenhouse and as a result we are having active flowering going into June So it is definitely possible to be harvesting through June, seeing that these plants have not shown any significant signs of slowing down. <laughs> 